So the last thing that I want to share with you about Google Sheets is about sharing. So there's a couple of things I want to point out in Google Sheets. So sharing your Google Sheet is the same as sharing any other document that we've learned about. You can click on the share button. You can add people. You can change whether you want them to be editors, commenters, or viewers. You can actually add an expiration date so that they only have access to it for so long. And then if you want them, if you don't want somebody to have access anymore, you can remove their access. You also, again, can change the general access from restricted to within your district to anyone with the link. And then you can always copy that link and share it with others if you need to. In addition, if you are in a Google Meet, you can join a call or present this tab directly in a call by clicking on that link and either starting a new meeting or using a meeting code and sharing this directly. One thing I do want to share with you is when you are sharing this document with others, sometimes there may be pieces of information. There may be um, sheets that you do not want anybody to be able to edit. You would like to protect those and you can do that. If you want to protect an entire sheet so that nobody can edit it, you can go down here to the tab, click and hit protect sheet. And then you can enter a name for it if you would like and you can hit set permissions. You can decide who can edit it and everyone else, if they have access to the sheet, will just be able to look at it, will not be able to edit that particular sheet, but they can still edit any sheet that's not protected. If you wanna remove that, you can always delete it off. And you will notice that it put a little lock here because it was protected, but when I hit remove, that lock goes away. In addition, you could protect just certain pieces of data within a spreadsheet. So if I wanted to protect just the first name and last name columns so that nobody could edit, the, edit those, then I could go to data and protect sheets and ranges. Again, I could enter a name for my protection, set my permissions, choose who has access and say, okay. And then now I know that those that column is protected nobody except for the people that have rights to edit it can change it everyone else will just be able to view that column but they can still edit anything else that you've shared with them as editor that is not protected so that can help you if you need people to have partial editing rights but you don't want them to be able to edit everything to be able to um, see everything and only edit what is necessary but that way, when you share it with them, they still get the entire picture. So that's about it for Google Sheets and the 